Hey guys, Kelly here. I'm here to do the five luxury things tag video. So if you are interested in seeing that, keep watching. Hey. Skr, skr. Kelly. 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 I was tagged by my girlfriend Kiko from Kiko's Beauty. She is my YouTube BFF. We talk about each other all the time. Um, clearly we're friends. So she tagged me. I told her I would do the tag. Um, I actually wasn't even gonna do this tag because I had, I had did like best in best, like a best investments video, and I thought that was similar, um, but actually it's kind of not. So at any rate, I am here to do the video, so I'm going to jump right in. And I thought long and hard about this, and I really only have five things because I don't like when people like do what they want to do when it comes to like tags, like. There's a reason why there are rules and stuff. Like, First step, I selected a fragrance. I feel like if you are trying to get into luxury um, things, I think a luxury fragrance is a must. Um, why I chose this particular one, which is uh, Bond Number no. 9 Central Park West. Aside from the fact that it, I love the smell, the Bond fragrances, and I've said this before in other videos, they're, they have a high concentration of perfume, which is why they're so expensive, but they really last on my body chemistry. A lot of perfumes, they just do not last on me. Um, the Bonds, they will last on you. Yeah, this um, one's like a floral, it reminds me of Easter Sunday, like a spring floral day. A pair of Christian Louboutin shoes. Now I had debated between these and a pair of YSL espadrilles. The reason why I went with the Christian Louboutin pumps is because one, I think every luxury lady needs a pair of Christian Louboutins. I don't care what you say, if they're uncomfortable, blah, 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 blah. High heels are uncomfortable, but even if you're a soccer mom or you're a mom on the go and you know you're a very casual person you're still gonna wear heels at a funeral or at a service or just certain functions you're probably gonna wear heels even if you are super duper casual unless maybe you have um, an issue with your feet so I went with the uh, Christian Louboutin Cornells and the reason why I went with the Cornells and not my Pagals because my Pagals, my Pagals are black calf skin I went with the Cornells because they're nude and they're patent leather so this you can wear in this in all year round wear black pumps I mainly wear in the fall and the winter like of course you can wear black pumps in the summer you know but Mostly, I don't. I, mo I mostly wear sandals, like a heeled sandal in the summer. But this shoe, a nude shoe, you wear all year round. So that's why I went with my Christian Louboutin Cornells. Is my Chanel uh, Chain Me. This was my first leather Chanel handbag. Um, I love it a lot. The reason why I picked this um, is because it's a flap, it's a classic flap. Now it's not a Chanel classic flap, but when I mean classic flap, I mean just a regular flap bag. So whether you, if you're not a Chanel girl and you like Gucci, they have Gucci Marmont, like most luxury brands have a take on a flap, a classic flap bag. I went with Chanel because um, this is the one that I own. And I picked this because this bag Again, you can dress up and you can dress down. My next step is my mini pochette. I have just got this. I haven't even had it in a month, and it is so awesome. It already made it made it into the five luxury tag video. Reason being, it's a catch-all. So I have my miscellaneous things that I keep in my purse, but I'm also using it as a wallet right now because when I did my Damier of Bean, what's in my Damier Bean? handbag my wallet was taking up so much space so I just put what was in my wallet in here behind my chewing gum so it's a miniature purse it is a wallet it is a catch-all it's a makeup case you know like a little teeny 
cosmetic case. I mean, there are so many different ways that you can use this. Um, you could put it through your belt loop, you know, if you're running errands or whatever. It just goes, or it's just super duper multifunctional. You need it in your collection. So, next step is a luxury belt. So, I picked my Hermes, well I have two Hermes belt kits and these are the only luxury, uh, I mean there's the only designer luxury belts that I own. I don't feel the need to buy another one, I don't feel the need to get a Gucci Marmont belt, I probably will, but I don't feel the need to get one, I don't feel the need to get a Chanel belt or anything like that and I'm going to tell you why. So okay, so this is my noir and blue jean with the um, silver buckle. So I have two, I have another belt kit with a gold buckle so I can um, mix or whatever. The reason why I like Hermes belt kit so much besides the craftsmanship is because they're two-sided. So they're reversible and you can switch the belt buckles on it. Um, when I've looked at Chanel belts, none of the Chanel belts that I saw had that functionality as far as taking the um, belt buckle off of the belt. Um, yes, they are pricey, but it is Hermes, and when it comes to, I'm gonna say like exclusivity, Hermes is, is at the top. I'm not gonna say the best brand, because to me Hermes is like, Hermes isn't my favorite brand. Um, In the world of belts, I don't think anybody does it better than Hermes. And this is my video. So we're gonna go by what I think. That is it for my five luxury things video um, or luxury things tag. Uh, thank you Kiko for tagging me girl. Um, I adore you, you know that. And I'm going to tag Alicia Ricky. I don't think she's, actually I, I, unless she uploads it today, but I will, I will see you guys in a later video.